Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the shop. Um, I'm hoping you all watched the time lapse that I did of me coloring the uh, rest of my colors in for the wheel. I did my shades in this section right here. That's where I added black to all my colors. I did my uh, tints in this section right here. That's where I added white to all the colors. This is my complementary color section, the outside wheel, and then the inside wheel is just my normal colors. So, as I said, this is going to be the rose wheel color wheel um, with a uh, rose window, I should say. With, with the rose window and all uh, windows that are stained glass, they used lead usually or some sort of like a lead type of metal to uh, put in areas to frame all the glass pieces. So basically the metal helped the glass pieces in, in place. We're not going to put metal on this, but what I am going to do is I'm going to paint around this with black where the, the, um, where the metal would be. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. And then I think what I'm going to do just to save on time because the uh, the video tends to take up quite a bit of time on YouTube when I when I do the whole thing, and I only have 15 minutes to get it done uh, according to their time limit. So I'm going to give you a quick demo here, and then I'm going to do the rest time lapse so you can see it that way. So I'm going to start out with some black paint, which I have on my palette right here. I just made my palette out of an old pie tin. And then I'm going to start by outlining my area. I'm going to go like that. And when, when you outline or when you start painting, just use the very tip of your brush, depending on what type of brush you have. And I'm going to do some kind of outlines between these colors too because I think that looks good. Makes it look a little bit more like a uh, stained glass window. So I'm going to just do this one. And you could add just a very, like depending on how thick your paint is, if you add just a little bit of water to it to kind of thin it out, Sometimes it paints on better. It kind of runs easier. But if it's okay, I would just leave it whatever thickness you've got it out of the tube or out of the container. I'm going to fill that in. And then down here is the eye. I'll do that. I think I'm going to leave the white there that's kind of around that, but I'm going to try and outline this little shape. Then I'm going to run a line. I can get it thin enough. Right there. It's hard with this middle one because it's so small there without you don't want to cover up that entire design in the middle but that's basically what you're going to do with the whole thing so like i said that's my my demo for how to add in the faux lead or leading that you might add onto a an actual uh stained glass window ours is either painted or you some of you guys I know could be using crayons or uh, colored pencils too. In that case, you're just getting a black pen or marker or black crayon or colored pencil and you're just coloring in. I'm using paint. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, like I said, stay tuned. I'll also have a uh, 
time lapse where I'll do this whole thing and it'll go super fast. Um, keep on working. Give me feedback. Uh, I've enjoyed hearing uh, some of the feedback that I've gotten from some of you guys on my email, which is Erlenmeyer, E R L E N M E Y E R, at L E S D dot K12 dot A Z dot U S. But I've also had some people actually respond directly to the YouTube. Uh, video page which works I can see that you've just got to tell me who you are though because sometimes you guys have aliases on YouTube and I don't know who's responding it could be anybody because I made the videos public hope you guys are having a great time have a great Easter and we'll talk to you later